Hey there, YouTubers! Yo, yo, what up? Dr. Sheep MC in the house, yo, my dogs. What's up? Oh, we're doing a video on doges, not dogs. Right. Hi there. Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to the biology video. <gasps> this is it. Live or not die. The trees. The walls. The walls in the air. No, no, not the trees. Not the trees. Where are the trees? No. But all seriousness. You know that one spot when you're scratching your dog's stomach that gets him to kick that hind leg? What's that about? Why do they do that? Are they ticklish? Does it itch? Are they trying to get you to stop? Actually, no. It's an involuntary reflex. But why is it an involuntary reflex? And that's what we're going to answer today. Why do they kick their hind legs? And today's video is actually written by uh, Will. So give him a round of applause to him. He's not here. He's not here, though. The boy got grounded. I not once in my entire high school career got grounded, so, or any of my careers for that matter, so congratulations, you played yourself. And literally, less than 30 seconds into this video, well, I guess probably a minute for you at this point, and I'm already out of ideas of how to walk in here. And of course, my laptop then decides to fall asleep, because nobody wants me to be here. This is time filler, by the way, gotta get those 10 minutes. You see, the scratch is a response to protect dogs from fleas, ticks, and other sources of irritation. Interesting. It's very weird that they don't try and scratch Will away all the time. He's an irritant. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, a cluster of nerves located under the skin makes up the dog's sweet spot. When you scratch the, stu the, the, the pet's stomach, it hit this spot. The nerves get activated. They send a message to the hind leg via the spinal cord to start kicking in an attempt to dislodge the source of irritation. Now you may be thinking, oh no, do they not like it when you scratch their stomach? The answer is no. Dogs who don't like it or are tired of the sensation will try to move away unless you hold them there. That's a natural thing to do, is to avoid things that irritate you or things you don't like. Why would anybody subject themselves to the Star Wars sequels? I don't get it. Especially more than once. Now, dogs that frequently turn themselves over and reveal their belly to you are signaling they are comfortable with you. And it is likely they are comfortable with the belly scratches you tend to give them at that time. Stages. Like the stages of life. Rainbow connection. So there are actually stages to this kicking motion. Stage one is the latency period. The latency period is the time between when you start scratching and the time when the dog starts kicking. This pause is caused by the time it takes for the nerve to send a signal to the brain, for the brain to then say, okay, yeah, let's scratch and then send that signal back down to the leg and have it start to scratch. The second stage is the warm-up stage. This is when the kicking starts slowly and then speeds up over time. There's really no reason for this to happen, it just does. The next stage is, oh my gosh. Will, if you got this off the internet, okay, but if you're calling it this, just to call it this is a sexual innuendo. But Stage three is the after discharge stage. Yay! Family friendly, please. Family friendly content. In this stage, you have already, wow, I fell asleep. I'm taking so long with these jokes. <laughs> In this stage, you've already moved your hand away, but the dog is still kicking like you are still scratching. This is, because, this is for the same exact reason you get the latency. It takes time for the signal to go to the brain, for the brain to say, you know what, I'm done scratching, and then go back. The last stage, and this doesn't always happen, 
but for this case it does. This is the fatigue stage. The fatigue stage is when you stop, it's when you keep scratching and the leg stops. The dog stops because they're tired and the leg doesn't want to keep kicking. However, if you keep scratching, which you shouldn't, but if you do, after a unspecified period of time, the dog will start to kick again. But if you just stop scratching and go away, have a cup of coffee, come back and scratch the dog again, they might start to kick because they're no longer tired. Boop. That is literally my favorite way to do that. This spot can also be used to check dogs for nerve damage. If a vet can't locate, activate the sweet spot. This lets them know something may be wrong with your dog's nervous system. With that in mind, if you notice your pooch fails to kick in the usual way when you scratch their stomach, it's usually a good idea to ask your vet whether they should come in to have an exam. Always take care of your pets. Now, however, not all dogs have a sweet spot. My dog, Reba, will literally kick almost anywhere you scratch her on her stomach. Actually, she'll kick if you scratch her on her side. Whereas Will's dog, Rosie, hardly has a sweet spot at all. This goes to show that the nervous system can vary between different dogs. Anyways, that's it. Wow, Will, you wrote a very short script. But, uh, that's fine. That's perfectly fine with me. Anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get us to a thousand subscribers before 2022. Um, new videos every other Friday, 11 a.m. Central Time, and good night. Subs for trees, subs for trees, subs for trees, subs for trees. Oh, you're still here? I thought I told you to go home. Oh, you want more? I'm flattered. Check out the playlist. If you want exclusive content, check out my Instagram, doctor underscore sheep underscore YouTube. That's all lowercase. If you want to help the earth, subscribe. When I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to plant 10 trees. If you feel that's too small, then check out my channel tour where I lay out even bigger goals. Finally, stick around for the next 20 seconds to give me that sweet watch time. Bye.